back to Drift Gaming HD. Today we're gonna be making a drift build out of the Toyota Trueno AA86, which I mean I happen to have it in my garage uh, because of a wheel spinner or something like that. So yeah, I wanted to make a drift build out of this car, and that's what we're gonna do now. So first of all, I mean I want to try this car stock just to see uh, in which areas this car needs to be upgraded. So we're gonna head to I'm not sure maybe I mean Rio's had some pretty decent drift tracks but uh give me I'm thinking of going to Top Gear. Yeah just to see how this goes. So here we are guys Sounds pretty good. I mean, it's. I think it's one of the best sounding cars from in a stock form. You know, I mean, I, I always like the rumble that this engine had. So, okay, let's go. Yeah, you can get sort of a burnout, <coughs> which. I mean, it's pretty obvious in a car like this because it doesn't have really much horsepower. <coughs> but it's pretty light, and that's a good thing for drifting. So, I don't think we're gonna need uh, to upgrade the power that much for this car. And, yep. Okay, well, we need more power, but also we have to lock the differential. I mean, I found in this game that locking the differential all the way really provides great drifting capabilities for some reason. I mean, I just happen to have to like it a lot. And this thing really likes to get angle. I mean, I know it's a stock, but yeah, this thing really pulls. So, I mean, let's go to the Hammerhead. I mean, that's like the definitive stock car drift corner. So, okay, now that... Yeah, I mean, this car really... This car really works as drift. I mean, I'm having a lot of really expectations for the drift field. So let's see a high speed entry. Well, high speed. And well, it's okay. It was more of an oversteer correction rather than a drift, but. I mean, for like. How much horsepower this has? Uh, 115 or something like that? I mean, it's pretty okay, I guess. We're gonna. Yeah, it's a good idea. So yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with this car. I mean, and it's in a stock form. I mean, I cannot imagine how this would drift when upgraded. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So here we are, and. I don't really know what to do with this car because power wise is pretty decent. I mean we need more power but I mean I don't know we have like ninety six kilowatts. Uh I'm not sure how many horsepower that is. And I mean I wish this this game uh, could use uh, like horsepower when using metric units. Because I mean in my country we we use the kilometers per hour but we also use horsepower as the power unit for the cars and it's pretty weird. So first thing first, I mean I think we're gonna go with the suspension. We gotta drop this thing and it, it gives it a pretty good stance. It's uh, a, a pretty big drop for what it is. And I don't think I want sway bars. Uh, maybe I do. I'm not sure. And for weight reduction, I mean, I think we're gonna remove all the electronic systems. Yeah, I mean, we could uh, tape the body, but mm, I don't think it's necessary because we are currently at like 872 kilograms, and that's pretty little. But mm, maybe, nah. Uh, we'll try to work with this. And for the brakes, yeah, new calipers. I mean, this car is pretty light, doesn't really need that much braking. And we 
we're gonna be drifting, so yeah. And now for the differential, because we're gonna tune that thing as soon as we can. The dry line, uh, let's give it this one, the race one, because we're gonna be. I mean, it's technically drift cars are like race spec cars in a way. And for transmission, I mean, I don't think we need transmission. I mean, I like it the way it is, but because just it doesn't really affect the gears right now, I think I we're going to use it. And it also removes a couple of kill ramps, which is okay. And yeah, we're gonna be needing a race clutch. That's a must. So yeah, I mean, as uh, for tires, we're gonna be using stock ones with stock uh the stock <coughs> and the stock size and for rims I mean I wanna swap this out. I don't know what to use. I mean I want a four spoke rim for this car. Uh, I usually really like like I usually really like like uh, classic JDM four spoke uh, rims on classic JDM cars and sadly this game just doesn't have them, I mean, it has like, I think one, which I already use in my Mazda RX-7 drift build, and, well, we could go as uh, for the, the initial D style of rims, if you know what I'm saying, uh, those, I mean, yeah, they're here, I think, uh, yeah, Force box. I mean, this type of rim, but I'm not really a big fan of it, and it looks too big for this car if we're gonna use that that rim. So I guess we'll go for the four spoke design that I spoke about earlier because yeah, I mean, it really suits it. I wish Forza had a lot of more rims and customization, uh, including more of the four spoke rims. And yeah, we're gonna keep that size. And as far as bumpers go. Uh, yeah, we we may add, add those. Uh, yeah, we're gonna add them. But I mean, I want to add a design to this car. But I, I don't really like the the exhaust that it gives for the for this bumper. I mean, it, I think it's too small. But I wish the BN Sports uh, body kit was in this game. So yeah, let's add the side skirts. And for the hood, yeah, we get that one. And I think we also add the the back spoiler just to to kind of match it. And it's looking pretty nice. And now for the power, I mean, I think we could add turbos, but I don't wanna. Uh, I think turbos are not fitting with this car. We try to go with the standard motor, like classic drifter style. And let's see the camshafts. Uh, it really amps the power. I, mean, I want to see the figures. Uh, seven seconds to get to to the t the hundred kilometers an hour. So yeah, I mean, let's go for the air filter. I mean, I think we're gonna be able to drift with this setup right now. But I just want to make sure. Uh, we get more power. I don't know if we should have added the exhaust or not, because there are some times where the exhaust mm, make a pretty weird uh, sound when upgraded. That I am mm, sounds kind of racy like, you know, like risers, uh, like the typical fire can, but I'm not sure. And we are on, yeah, I think we have 200 torque. We are okay, and well, we are at the intercooler, just because. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this thing out. <coughs> I don't know if I want to go back to the Top Gear test track or go to to Rio or something like that. But I'm not sure. I mean, Circuit of the Americas has some pretty good drift corners, but uh, yeah, we'll try this this track. So here we are, and our AA86 is looking pretty good. And I, I'm glad I chose those those rims. And oh, I thought the 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 brakes were were glowing. 
but it's just the reflect of that other thing, so let's give it some revs. It sounds pretty okay. So let's try to do a burnout. Uh, yeah, a bit disappointing. But let's see how this goes before we tune the diff. And whoa, these three beaters. Yeah, it was not centered. Now we're okay. <laughs> so let's see how this thing drifts. I mean, not bad. We definitely have to lock the differential, but it doesn't feel really bad. I mean, it feels like it doesn't have a lock differential, but what can we ask? Um, yeah, whoa. Whoa, okay. So maybe we also need a bit more ca of camber. So let me see. Let's amp a bit the pressure on the tires. Uh, I mean the camera thing it's pretty good as it is and the roll bars we didn't really hit, touch it and for springs I think we're gonna soften them up and yeah let's aim the back ones and as far as for the right height goes we're gonna drop it now damping let's lower the front settings and the brakes okay I have a diff Let's lock it up, just to see how it goes. Maybe I have to touch it later, but let's try the setup. I don't really know this track very well, but I mean, at least I can see the corners. And this car is reacting pretty well for not having that much horsepower. I mean, which is something that I expected, but I mean, it gets a lot of angle. And that's a thing that I like personally. When on a drift car, I mean, I think the most important thing is really to show off. Well, apart from having fun, but like. Being able to get that much angle with this type of car, it's a pretty cool thing. And yeah, we're lacking a bit of power, but it's okay. I mean, this car really, I think it's, I focus, I mean, the way it is right now, it's more focused towards uh, like, toge kind of racing or drift. Uh, mountain drifting, but because we don't have Jimmy Kite in this game, it's a bit useless, maybe. But well, I think this this car in the rain uh, could make for a pretty good drift car. And whoa, because experience tells me that uh, this uh, uh, low power cars perform pretty well in the rain. This car, but as far as it goes, it drifts pretty well. And let's see this. Ooh. Yep, pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with this car. Let's see this sweeping corner here. Let's try to keep the angle, and no, we ain't gonna get it. Wait, whoa, whoa, shit. I tried to push it too hard, I and mean, I should have given it more throttle. But it's okay. And I wanna to ask you guys if you wanted to see uh, the crew wild round gameplay because I've been trying the free trial on Xbox Live but sadly I, I can record more gameplay of it because the trial ended for both of my accounts but the real physics feel pretty good right now so and yeah I mean if you want some gameplay of the crew I mean just tell me in the comments because it looks pretty good, I mean, I, I tried in the beta originally and I didn't really like it, then I tried later and I still didn't like it, but now with the addition of the drift spec cars and the monster trucks and things like that, I mean, I've tried those and 
physics feel kind of okay. I mean, they feel a bit more realistic than Need for Speed. But, I mean, it's pretty fun. I mean, if you want me to to get the game and get some gameplay for you guys, just tell me in the comments. And I'll be happy to to play it for you. And look, we already shot that corner. But we still keep it. I mean, I, I, I'm really happy with this car, as I said before. It handles like a dream. So maybe on the next, I could make a video of this car like drifting in the rain in the North Life of, because it's the most similar thing we have to Fidificado. I mean, I wish Forza Red Ton Chan came up with like a free Fidificado expansion, like they did on Forza Five with the with the North Life of. And I mean, I got a bit distracted on that turn, but yeah, I mean, I I would really like to to get a uh, Fujimi Kaido and if they added rain, I mean I would I would be like the happiest Forza player in the world. Because just imagine drifting this car in the rain on Fujimi Kaido I mean oof, I mean I think I played uh like the the half of the time I was playing Forza 4 it was Fujimi Kaido. I mean I can't remember its turn, its initiation point for the drifting. I mean it was just like a pretty good track and yeah. I'm getting a bit too sentimental and losing control of this car. But yeah guys, I mean this is a pretty basic setup. So if you want to replicate this <coughs> this setup, just watch the video and get all the settings. I mean it's not really difficult to understand. I mean it's just like race suspension and locked up differential for the most part and a bit more power. And maybe on the controller it's a bit more difficult to <coughs> to lose traction in this car, so maybe by adding more horsepower you could play it with a controller in a better way, but yeah, as far as it goes, uh, it's a pretty good drift build in my opinion. Maybe it's not the best uh, build for points, for drifting points, but to be honest, I don't like drifting for points, because it can, I mean, drifting is just to have fun, like in online points are, everything is like madness. So yeah, I mean it's a pretty fun car to drift around. Uh, yep, I mean it's not made for this kind of corner. Maybe more like tactical, uh, small corners is a better environment for this car, but as far as it goes, I mean it's a pretty good car. Well, maybe I have to add a bit more horsepower now that I'm thinking about it. But yeah, I mean, I mean, see, once you get the <coughs> the rear wheels going, this thing just can keep a lot of speed and around the corners. And whoop, whoop. yep. So, uh, what? Oh, sorry. So, I think we're gonna end the video there. Don't forget to give a like to see more drift builds and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Subscribe and tell me in the comments what you want to see next. Thanks for watching.